Hi and welcome to another tutorial in which I will show you how you can show your filters which are selected in your report with only one measure. First introduction, my name is Catherine, I'm managing partner of UWI, founder of Colors of Fabric and Power Platform User Group. All the content uh, you see here is related to my GitHub account, so you can find there all the measures, data sets and so on. You can write me an email or go on my blog and you can also follow me on LinkedIn or YouTube if you want. Okay, let's see what we have today. I created this report with this filter box. So if I want and I want to choose some filters, I click on open filters and then I see here I can, for example, pick an age. I can also pick a department and if I want, I can also pick here two patient IDs. And you see that in the filter box, I get all the information. Um, it is still working. <laughs> so I guess in a moment, yes, now uh, you see I get all the informations um, I have filtered on because so you see in the patient ID, for example, is only multiple filters and you can't see them. So you have to open it. So it is more convenient to have a box where you see all the filters you selected. And in my case, I have also here a some buttons where I can close my uh, filter menu and I can clear all my filters. But this is not part of the video today. Today I will only show you how you can create this filter box where you can see all your filtered elements. Okay, for this we have to go into our Power BI Duster. I created an exercise page where we can start directly. For this I mentioned we need one measure. Of course I prepared one, so <laughs> we don't need to write it, otherwise we would take 10 minutes or something. So I will explain it uh, on my um, ready to go measure. And you see I created three different variables. Uh, the first one will show the patient ID. So I put in here some text so that we have some description in it. And after that we use con uh, concatenatex which means you can, you can concatenate the different values you selected. So if you have multiple values selected and the same uh, measure, uh, the same function here is um, going through every variable because uh, you can also put more in it if you want. So it depends on, on your uh, filters you have in your report. And in the end, on the return, we use our variable and we use a unit chart so that we get a break in our text so that we have all the different kind of variables underneath. Okay, so that is, a, that is a measure. And now if you want to create a text box, you can choose the table. I will make it a bit bigger. You can simply drag in your, um, your measure and then you can go under your brush here. Under grid, you will find the options and there you can change the font size globally, which I prefer to, because otherwise you have to go to every single uh, setting and to ha and have to set the, the right font size. So this is for, for the global. Okay, the next thing I will change the border color to white because I don't need that. And the next thing is my column header. I will make it a bit bigger and I will make it bold. So uh, you see now, looks better and I want to have a border, so a visual border around my um, filter details. And of course you can uh, change the color, for example, to a lighter gray if you want, so that's not that dark. And you see, that's it. And now let's test our filter box. So first we put in our H bucket. I will create out of it a filter. And the next thing we had was a department referral. Also create a filter. And the last thing was our patient ID. So let's choose also patient ID here and make a slice out of it. Okay, first thing, the H. I select an H. Okay, that works. Next thing, the department. And next thing, the patient ID. And you see it works perfectly. That's great. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up <laughs> if it works as well. <laughs> and of course, uh, you can also uh, go through my other videos. And don't forget, um, if you need help, I can't help you to conquer the galaxy, but I can help you to set up a reporting system. And of course, I can help you with strategy planning, governance, checkups, and so on. And yes, that's it. 
We'll see you guys in the next video. Have fun with Power BI. See ya. Bye bye.